What's going on guys? Tony Ivanov here, lead trader and mentor at TradeBuddy. Today I have another video lesson for you guys on the penny stock action that we had this morning. Um, tried to take one trade on HEAR, didn't get filled on my uh, buy at 419. If I did, it would have been another $1,000 plus day for me. Um, on Wednesday, I made over a grand. I think it was 1.2 grand. On Thursday, I lost 33 bucks. On Friday, I made another 1.2 grand and uh, you know I was really hoping to have another win today because that was just been some awesome awesome momentum to continue into this week um, so my plan was perfect my buying entry was perfect but my my order took two seconds too long like there was a lag of two seconds between when I pressed buy and when the order was sent to the markets and by then the breakout had happened and the price had jumped up so much. I didn't pay attention to my order status window. So I was just watching HEAR as it went from the breakout of Friday's high, which was this horizontal line right here. $4.20 was the breakout. And I was just watching this squeeze from this level, 420, it squeezed all the way up to 550 in two minutes this is a one minute chart right here in two minutes this squeezed from 420 to 550 and i was trying to buy 1000 shares i definitely would have taken profits once i was up at least a dollar per share this had so much volume behind it so it was just it was such a gimme play that uh i really wished i bought more shares and not only that i really wish that my order was filled but you know what can you do about that Hopefully that's not going to be an issue tomorrow because I'm not sure why the order took so long to fill. But that's okay because we had a bunch of traders in the Trade Buddy chat who made some awesome bank. Here's Burgett. Made 122 bucks using only 200 shares. That's an awesome win. We had, let me get the other ones here. We had Merlin. Bought at $4.5. Made 20 cents per share. That's awesome. We had Mike. Bought. At 30 cents, sold at 78, made almost 40 cents a share. Here's Spencer, made 197 on HEAR, bought at 29 cents, sold at 85 cents. So awesome, awesome, awesome trades. I'm sure there's a bunch more of you guys in the chat. I wasn't able to get pictures of all the all the uh, profits, but good job, everyone. Uh, if you guys want more info on that trade buddy chat room, you can click the link down below. There is a silver chat and there's a platinum chat. The differences are the platinum chat has access to the chat room and my live stream trades. If you don't want the live stream trades, you can just join the silver package and it gives you access to the five trade by community chat rooms. So we're going to break down this trade, exactly why we traded it and all that stuff. But first, if you didn't know, every single day we give away 25 bucks and it goes to a random competitor from the previous video lesson. So let's see who won. All you have to do is leave a comment on this video, leave a like and a subscription, and um, you can be entered into the raffle. So here's Godfrey. He says, wow, what a gain. And this was on Friday, so I made 1,200 bucks using only 1,000 shares. Now, there's so many traders on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter who, who brag about their big wins, but they're using massive accounts. So you have to really put it in perspective. With this trading that I'm doing right now, I'm only buying 1,000 shares of these stocks. H-E-A-R, if I bought 1,000 shares, I'm only putting in 4,000 bucks and I would have made $1,000 profit. That just goes to show how well my pattern and my strategies work for growing small accounts and my students prove that. So Godfrey, please, please send me an email address or send me a YouTube message with your PayPal email address and I'll send over that 25 bucks to you as soon as I get your information. So H-E-A-R, why did it run? How do we catch it? And uh, just, you know, what happened? So H-E-A-R was a previous runner. This ran on Friday. Let's bring up the daily chart real fast. You can see on Friday, had a pretty big move from $3, hit a high of uh, that resistance right there, 420 level. Um, and we had this on watch because it could have a second day of continuation. So this was on the watch list. Um, and we said, okay, if it can break over the previous high, 
uh, then it could definitely squeeze higher. Um, market opens, and the first thing we see on our low float movers scanner on trade ideas um, is that we see H E A R popping up on the scanner. Breakout, breakout, breakout. 396, 398, four dollars, 405, 409, moving very rapidly up to that resistance at 420. So it popped up, hit the resistance at 420. Um, I I really wish that these charts could go down to the seconds, like a 10 second chart, because you could see the pullback that happened. But essentially, what happened um, is that we hit that price, we hit the resistance at 420, we pull back just a tiny bit down to four bucks held four bucks very well and then next time when it came back up it squeezed very hard and and there was just so much buying volume um the main thing that i watch when i'm doing these type of trades in the morning these morning spikes i don't watch the chart i watch level two and i watch time and sales the time and sales and level two is what's going to tell you is there a bunch of buying volume coming in is there a bunch of hype pouring into this stock and the reason why I bought at 419 is because I was watching the time and sales and watching level two. And there was almost no one on the ask at that resistance. And there were just so many buyers flooding in. So that gave me the idea that, okay, this is likely going to break over 420 and squeeze higher. Because there was just so much momentum that you can't really stop it. So I tried buying and it just squeezed past 420. And just shot up. You can see the next minute just squeezes from uh, that breakout all the way up to five and a half dollars. I'm surprised it didn't get halted. Um, pretty weird because this was a let's see how big of a spike was this. It spiked 39% in two minutes. Usually these low floats get halted when they spike up 10% too much too fast. So weird that it didn't get halted, but either way, it was an awesome awesome play. I'm happy that uh, the plan worked. I'm happy that the breakout level that we chose in the chat was the perfect place to buy. Not so happy about not being able to lock in another $1,000 profit on the day, but no big deal. It'll come again. These spikes happen every single day. It seems like there's so much momentum in the market right now, and we're just going to hope for some continued momentum going into tomorrow. So not the longest video lesson for you guys today. Uh, there was really nothing else that ran whatsoever. Um, after H-E-A-R, you can see we had some things pop up on the low float scanners. AMDA did nothing. And the whole time it was just H-E-A-R. AMDA did squeeze up a bit. Let's check that out real fast. Squeezed up a tiny bit from 155 up to 185. So not a bad move whatsoever. Um, didn't want to hop in this one because it just didn't have that much volume until this candle here. It really squeezed, but I usually don't play these stocks under two bucks. I usually like to stay over two bucks just because it's easier to manage my risk that way. But you can see after that we had RXII popped up for a bit, low volume. LTBR popped up, MOSY popped up for a bit, didn't really go too far, had low volume. KONE popped up, did nothing, had low volume, and that was kind of the pattern for the rest of the day. So. Let me just show you guys my level or my order status just so you can see exactly what happened um, on this trade. So here's my orders for today. You can see I had no trades just to prove it to you guys. You can see H-E-A-R I tried to buy at 419. And if we hover over this, you can see it, it says at 930.57. So that's 930 and 57 seconds. Accepted GTC order 1157. When I looked at this earlier, my people in my chat room and who are watching this live can attest for me. So please, if you're in my chat room, comment down below and say that you saw this. But you see where it says live order 1157? That said that it was taken at 930.59. So it took two seconds to accept the order and make it live. Which, you know, by that time, two seconds in day trading is... A long time so by that time it was at I think like 9.35 or like 35 cents and it just blew through my price so so by that time I didn't know that I had no shares I thought I had 1,000 shares so I didn't want to add more um, but yeah so not the best situation that kind of just happens sometimes with your uh, 
your equipment, your software is going to sometimes have these glitches, have these lag issues. And that's just the price to pay when you deal with stuff that moves so fast. So technically this cost me a thousand dollars and it was pretty frustrating because I had the right plan. I was watching the right stock and it just didn't execute. So that happens sometimes. Uh, just have to get over it and hope that we can see some better volume and better executions tomorrow. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you stuck through the whole time, I'm assuming that you guys enjoy this content. So if you want to learn more about day trading, I have a, a few things to offer you. First thing I have is a free day trading ebook, How to Day Trade Every Morning. It's an ebook that I worked on. Uh, free link is down below. It's not free plus shipping. It's an ebook, so don't worry about that. Click the link down below and you can get that ebook. It teaches you exactly how to find these morning spikes, how to know which ones are going to spike, how to uh, use hotkeys, how to get your order filled and what chart patterns to look for. So it's a very good place to start if you have no idea whatsoever. Um, I also do have a lifetime mentorship course of how to day trade every day. So it's a lifetime course. You have access to my 10 hour penny stock mastery course, lifetime access to my trade buddy platinum chat room and lifetime access to my trade buddy silver uh, chat, the platinum live stream and silver chat. So lifetime access to all of those. Um, and then it's a mentorship too, so you can ask me questions all the time, send me emails, talk to me in the live stream and ask me whatever you need to. Um, I'm really here for you guys to learn, so it's very awesome value. There's people here on YouTube and Instagram who are charging thousands and thousands of dollars for their small courses when mine is a lifetime mentorship program and it's less than a thousand bucks. So very good value. I highly recommend you guys check it out. Uh, if you don't want to go that far, you can just look at my Trade Buddy Platinum and Silver packages. Those are all down below as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this content. And if you did, come back tomorrow because I'll be making another one. So thank you all so much. I'll see you then.